Hilge. You asked me once about this memory. I lied. I told you it was lost. I worried the wrong lesson would be learned. But this man lived many lives, and he has much to teach us. Of course, when he came to us, he was little more than a common thief, scrambling to survive on the streets of Baghdad, dreaming of a better future, not just for himself, but for all those he saw suffering on the margins. For while he lived in a golden age, at the heart and the height of the Abbasid Caliphate, scratch its gilded surface and you'd find a rot beneath. The Order of the Ancients fought to rise and spread their cruelty through the land. The Hidden Ones, as we were known then, resisted. Striking at our enemy from the shadows, an eternal struggle. Centuries ago, he was at its heart. Basim ibn Ishaq. He honored the creed. He challenged it. So must we. We have it in all of us to mistake the shadows we walk for the light we serve. The time may come when we will be tested as he was. I fear that time is coming soon. Basim, breathe. Was it the Jinni again? And what did our friend want this time? To strip the flesh from my bones? Dine on my innards? Never has much to say, yet it leaves its mark. I can still feel it crawling on my skin. Hardly original. You should tell it as much. Forget the Jinni for the moment. The day is new. There is work to be done. Durwish has left another contract. Who for? Them again? We would make more money selling water to a camel. <sighs> Come, Nihal. Where is your sense of duty? Duty does not fill our bellies. No, but it does enrich the soul. I will be outside. About this contract, I do not want you to mistake my words for pestering. I am only looking out for you, Yasadiki. It is no inconvenience to stand up to our oppressors as the Hidden Ones do. Do you think yourself some hero of tomorrow? The next Gilgamesh? No. I am merely the son of a public servant who dedicated his life to the betterment of his people. Only to be slighted and forgotten. But I am honored you think I could reach such heights. I may just aim for them. That is not at all what I said. It is what I heard. Done. You truly are the master thief of Anbar. Is that jealousy, I hear? Hardly, O oh great looter of purses. Insufferable. Come, we are late to Durwishes. Mean, how is your knee? Much better, Basim. Wrapped it and rested a few days, like you said. Good. 
So long as each day is better than the last and you take care not to extend yourself, you will recover fine. Has this happened to you before? Is that why you know how to treat it? I am no stranger to scrapes and bumps, but I have learned to prevent them. And so should you, if I may. Your sandals are worn and cannot grip the ground. Your knees are taking the brunt of your movements. We need to find you something better, something that fits. But that part is not so easy. The mosques have plenty. I am sure to find a better pair there. Uh, if you will not pass judgment. Ha! Huh. Do not look to me. That will be between you and Allah, ya Sadiqi. Vai, 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 vai. Here is the lazy boy. I've been waiting on you. Someone has to plan our meals. <laughs> Hold. Food. I would not flaunt that around the markets. <laughs> Trust me. Go to Zaida's. <laughs> She uses lots of butter. That she does. You look weary. Are you well? It is nothing a little adventure will not fix. What do they need? A shipping ledger at the harbor. It is worth nothing by itself, but the information it contains is valuable to them. This is child's play. Do they not have anything more difficult? I can do more. Never mind your ego. The Khalifa's guards are here in number. And you would do well to remember that. You worry for me more now than when we lived in Baghdad. My worry is the same. I've only grown too old and too tired to hide it. Bring the ledger back here and do it swiftly. We have not talked about my fee. And we won't. Not until the deed is done. You know how they are. Shocking. He is just a messenger. And you are still an errand boy. You can do this one on your own. Anything else about the ledger? Or why they want it? Uh, I tell you what they tell me, Basim. As always, it's just enough. Why are you asking? Huh? I would like to know just what it is I am contributing to. You have done much in the way of facilitating their endeavors. And so I will speak a word on your behalf. My one caution, and I have been doing this long enough to share it, anyone, anyone who works from the shadows does so only because they must. In the face of looming danger, for example, by working alongside them, we have invited the danger to our door. And we must be very careful not to let it in. What was the final tally of what we received? Sixteen crates. One chest, half a dozen satchels. Only three crates remain, last time I checked the ledger. Give their handlers until tomorrow evening. If they don't show by then, we must assume they've forgotten about their wares. Open them up. Keep whatever catches our eyes. Dump the rest. Wait here. We could use some eyes around the city. I'll see what I can do. She looks important. You should haggle for a better fish. Oh, Basim, what timing? Did you get it? Without a fuss. Give it here. You are one of them. There. It looks as though it was delivered this morning. You're certain it is the chest you seek? I am certain. Pay the boy. You need something stolen? I am your man. Durwish can attest. He has given me all your contracts. Then you have done your part. I can do more. Two of my best men died in this pursuit. I doubt a street thief would fare much better. Then let me join you. You have two openings. We should take half this fee for that insult. <sighs> Thank you, Darwish. Listen here, Basim. You want to keep working for me? You keep your head down and your mouth shut.
<laughs> Why must you embarrass yourself like that? Like what? Like a beggar. Desperate for them to notice you. Desperate? Nihal, I am good at what I do. That woman would be lucky to have me. But she does not want you. You are a street thief with dirty feet. So why bother? Why keep pushing yourself down this path? Because being a street thief is not the peak of my ambition. I have more to offer this world than my nimble fingers. They just cannot see it yet. Almost, <laughs> Jessup. <laughs> What is this? Aha! Uh -huh. This is my latest creation. It helps me fend off angry merchants when they... Uh, catch me digging around their wares. I will consider myself spared. You smell foul. What is that? Ta! <coughs> we have been fishing at the harbor since morning. Terrible luck, though. The harbor? Did you happen to see or hear any fuss over a chest? Hmm. Ah, yes, a black one. Very beautiful. Some burly guards took it with them to the palace. Shukran laka ya, Jasib. What are you doing? They want that chest, and I am going to get it for them. Then they will see. There is just no getting through to you, is there? Then we will do this together. If you get caught at the Winter Palace, they will kill you on sight. We will need a safe way in. And I know where we might scout one. Does where you stand not awaken fond memories? Not so long ago, we were counting our spoils up here, under the cover of night. Just like this. The stakes were lower then. And so too was the prize. Well, before you claim your prize, you will first have to reach it. As far as I can see, that will take some creativity. We could always try the front gate. You will have to let me know how that goes for you. Where are you going? I've had a clever thought. If your mind is absent of one, you should perhaps follow mine. Wait! The Khalifa appears unsettled. An unruly son is not helping matters. The young man is eager. It's his first time in the palace, is it not? Let him wander, I say. Cater to his needs. Gideon, come. Through there, the Khalifa awaits you. They have arrived, Maulay. Out, all of you. I am to meet with them alone. Father, let me stay. Take him. Looks heavy. We'll never get it out of the palace. Then I will just have to take what is inside. Gentlemen, welcome. Everything is in order. I understand this means a great deal to you. Rest assured, it will be well protected here. We will accept nothing less. We will carry out our work and return to you when we are ready. Be prepared, Khalifa. Uh, might I see it once? The contents. If we are to guard this with our lives, we should know... <laughs> you saw nothing of this. You say... Nothing. Do you understand? Uh, yes, of course. 
Perish the idea. Now is our chance. All right, Basim. Open. Snatch. Run. Basim, hurry. Basim! Give me that! No! No! Do you have any idea what they will do to me? Please! I... I am sorry! This... This is your fault! Stop! Please! You thieving little rat! No! Run! The hell, wait! Father! Get that boy! Nihal? you to tell me about this. I do not know what you mean. Tell me what happened. Silence is not your ally here. It is not silence. I cannot explain what I saw. That object. It did something to me. I was... somewhere else. Cold. And frightened. Before I knew it, the Khalifa had his hands around my neck. I... It was an accident. I did not mean for... Just wanted to help. We need to get you out of here. I have a boat at the Western Docks. What? No, I, I cannot leave. I need to find Nihal. Stop and think, Basim. The Khalifa's guard is searching for his murderer. A young thief of your description. They will not stop until they have found you. And when they do, it will not be a prison they throw you into. It will be a shallow grave. I'm giving you a second chance. Take it. Nihal. Derwish. They are all in danger! Point your blamey little finger, Basim. It was your idea to steal from the palace. Also that you can impress your cunning friends. I saved us. You killed them! 
you did it this! It came from over there! I hope I never see you again. Hurry! Stop! Is it him? I think so. Good enough. Move. What are you doing? Don't think. Are you ready? I, uh... I think so. Put yesterday out of your mind. It has no bearing on today. Get dressed and we can begin. Ah, what is this in the corner? Here. A small design. It is my signature, so you know I created this, and not Al-Hassan, or worse, Abu Jafar. I just you understand, Wadam. Ah, Basim, how are you? Yes, Enkidu, food is coming. He is intelligent, and intelligence is supposed to rhyme with patience. Reminds me of someone. Have you been speaking to Master Roshan? Have patience. Be kind to your progress. I will take this to heart. Roshan asked me to come see you? Ah, yes. Rebecca needs leather strips. Can you fetch those from the storeroom? I shall, Fulad. Araka Lahekan. Sharanas. Forces? You mean the Order, Raban? I... can only speak of what I know, Yasar the Caliph wishes to nullify the rebels, and if you persist in giving them support, we cannot assure you protection from any caliphate response. The rebels supply us with information in Baghdad. Without them, we are blind. Be that as it may, Governor Muhammad is very committed to showing that he can end this rebellion swiftly. <laughs> I do not doubt that. I came to warn you. Things are moving fast in Baghdad. You may have to act sooner than expected. I hear you, Arban. Rebecca? Basim, Basim. Are you just wandering the camp aimlessly now? No. I have this leather for you. Will it do? Apparently, you've moved past the wooden swords. I protested, but Roshan insisted. Here is your dagger. And your sword. I am proud to have worked on them. <laughs> 
This blade has character. Why would I make anything less than unique? I am in your debt. I was not expecting new weapons today. Repay me by using it on the Order. Make them feel the sharpness of its character. Good work. Until tomorrow. Basim, time for combat training. I was surprised when Rebecca handed me this. Is a sword not a coarse weapon for a hidden one? As hidden ones, we must become proficient with a number of weapons. You never know how a fight will escalate. Anyone can wield a sword, but how would you use it? I am here to learn that, Master. Are you truly here? Well, yes. I believe so. You are here in body. But are you here in mind and soul? Is this a riddle? No. It is the difference between life and death. Ah! Take that! Where did that come from? We are done for today, Basim. Why must we stop? I learned nothing from failing. True learning requires action and stillness in equal parts. You have made the action. Now, seek the stillness. Do not rush your training. Be patient. Failure is a part of progress. Think on these words and come back better. Yes, Master. I will. Good. See you later. Ahmed will soon go back to the House of Wisdom. I fear he may end in the middle of a snake's nest. I know how close you are to your brother. We shall learn more soon. Then we can act. Assalamu alaikum, Abu Jafar. It is Ahmed. Ahmed, my apologies. Do not worry. Come and warm yourself by the fire. Our brother Ahmad is leaving us tomorrow. To Baghdad, the House of Wisdom. The House of Wisdom? We have been working there, my brothers and I, for years. I still have some things to work on. Science waits for no one. And I will fulfill my duty as a hidden one by becoming your eyes and ears among the scholars. Pulath, tell Basim the story of the feather. Our tradition of the feather comes from Egypt. They represent the feathers of Ma'at. The feathers of the heron were dipped in the blood of the targets. This would be left for the Lord of the Duat to judge. It is important we remain humble and know our place in the process. We are messengers of justice and not the final judges. Will anyone help me on patrol tonight? I will come with you, Noor. I must get my body moving if I'm to warm up tonight. I am grateful. Let us go. This is Mohja. Magnificent. Soon, you shall have one of your own. Fulav introduced me to an eagle named Enkidu. He said we have much in common, and not in a complimentary way. She sees something. Follow me. Not like the wooden targets, is it? It is not that. This sword? What of it? Mercenaries from Baghdad use these weapons. 
We must warn the others. Mercenaries from Baghdad. How do you know? Basim recognized the make of the sword. I believe him. Bring him in. How do you know these men were from Baghdad? Growing up on its streets, I have seen their weapons many times. And closely. Behind every mercenary is a man who gave them their orders. Yes, and we must act if we are to learn who that is. We will return to Baghdad, seek Ali ibn Muhammad's help. Ah, oh, of course, Sahib is Zanj. He is a dangerous and delusional fool. Maybe so, but he is one of our only allies in Baghdad. We need him, and we need his men. I will go back to Baghdad. Go to Ali. Find out if the Order sent those men. I will. Wafakak Allah. Wafakak Allah. Wada'an. Araka lahiqan. It is strange, Al-Hassan. My head is calmer than I believed it would be. I thought I would be a stormy sea inside. But I am calm and quiet. Because you have dedicated yourself to your training and left nothing to chance. Here, Basa. You have earned this. It is a great honor. I suspect you understand that. Roshan and the others are waiting for me. Go down. And... Have you heard about Diltani? One of the first of our founders. She assassinated Alexander the Great with an ingenious poison. I have attempted to recreate it from historical records. Iltani has taught me that no enemy is untouchable. No matter how powerful they appear. Thank you for this lesson. Wafakakallah. <laughs> How are you feeling? Ready to make the leap. I wish you to know it has been an honor to watch you walk your path. As a novice, and as a man. I am grateful to you for leading the way before me. I am honored. Come. Your new robes away. Ah, they suit you well. Come, it is time.
Basim Ibn Ishaq. Are you ready to leave your life behind and walk the path of shadows? I am. Are you ready to give up who you once thought you were? Ready to sacrifice everything you held close? I am. Never forget the tenets you have sworn to uphold. Say your blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Then, out of the dark, you will come into the light. And from the light, you will return to the dark. Ibnus Hawk, you now follow in the Eagle's path. You have died and been reborn. Now, fight me as your equal. Sai Duni! Noor! Noor! Do not strain. Save your strength. He traveled unprepared, left Baghdad in a hurry. Here, drink. <laughs> Ali, he is gone. They took him in the night. They? The Order. Bring him to my tent. If Ali is gone, we are blind. The Order has put a fog over Baghdad and their movements. We must go to Baghdad. Hmm. Roshan, Basim, go with Fulev. Leave at once.
Basim, we should keep moving. I would like to look around first, if I may. Baghdad and its surroundings call to me. Very well, but do not be long. There will be much to do once we reach Harbiya. Look for a lattice-covered courtyard near Shara's mosque. That is where Noor was gathering his information. That is where we will be. Mm. So this is a Hidden One's bureau. I expected some sort of hovel. Some bureaus are. Others can be fitted with gold trim. Wherever space we settle, all that's important is that our occupancy remains a secret. We certainly have that here. Have you found anything helpful? Nothing hinting at Ali's whereabouts. However, Noor was in contact with someone named Beshi. A name I recognize as one of Ali's closest allies within the Rebel Collective. He's a dock worker at the Upper Harbor. See if he's in the area. He may have something to tell us about Ali's disappearance. I have found something! It seems Noor mapped out this very district. Mark the factory's area to the north. What is there? Rebel sympathizers. If Noor visited this area for any reason, it is worth following upon. Understood. These are not strong leads, but they are a start nonetheless. Fulav and I will see what more we can uncover. Be careful. Area district. Why would it be of interest to Noor? The people there are in quiet support of the rebels. Common folk, workers, merchants. Come to think of it, Noor did make mention of a new contact. A merchant. It may be this merchant dwells in Ashara, among the dying leather factory workers. I will keep an